Welcome back friends. We are solving uh, the practical problems of bioinformatics and we have already discussed uh, to this third answer for our question because we are having eight questions to be answered. Now we have seen there is a conserved domain present but the conserved domain heat are that much not that, uh, that not that good. So we'll, we won't talk about the conserved domain of these prion proteins anymore because these are not that much conserved and search result is telling us the higher e values so this is not good for us so let's look at the fourth uh, question which is go for the multiple sequence alignment of the 10 sequence that we just retrieved uh, from the database earlier so we'll go for this uh, msa or multiple sequence alignment this is very very important because for any uh, type of study to construct suppose a phylogenetic tree uh, to construct any different things using uh, a protein or molecular uh, any kind of molecules a protein or DNA we must align those sequences with each other otherwise it will be difficult for us to do so this alignment is very very important so how can you look for the multiple sequence alignment we will look the MSA tool of a software called Clustal W so it is called Clustal W so we'll select this and here we can find that the second link is multiple sequence alignment cluster w genome.net so we'll click on to this it will take us to the site for multiple sequence alignment by cluster w let us move here just click on the first one so that it will take us to the actual page because this one is the actual page of cluster w so you first click the link above right so don't need to take that yes this is the crystal w website now in this website this is actually uh, supported by EMBL remember European uh, bank uh, genome bank now here this is for the multiple sequence alignment right so we know about the sequence alignment we have seen the theory about the multiple sequence alignment above now we'll be doing it so this there are step by step process and they are giving you the steps step one is enter your input sequences remember multiple sequence alignment that's when you need to provide multiple sequences so here they are telling you enter your input sequences so we'll be entering our sequences suppose we are having 10 sequence we'll enter 10 if you are having 100 we'll enter 100 no matter how many we enter here then set your pairwise alignment option so the alignment type can be slow the alignment type can be fast and here it gives the default settings will fulfill the need of most users and for that reason are not visible that's why they won't take these things so in most of the cases of our uh, input this desired thing is uh, this default thing is uh, done uh, is uh, quite sufficient uh, so if you are a pro if you are uh, you need to do very very special things then only you need to change the parameters we won't change the parameter here we simply go with the default one third is set your multiple sequence alignment options there are many options otherwise default things are provided simply we'll be uploading our sequence here and then we'll hit this submit and here is a box suggesting be notified by mail so if you click this box after providing after uh, doing after uh, the completion of the job it will send the, us a uh, mail having the link of our result of our job so this is good because if you upload the sequence and hit submit and this uh, go out of this website and do other jobs then come back after some times when you require to analyze your sequence you can go to the your to your email so that you can check for this sequence so i'll be guiding that too, right so here we won't look for that because we'll be staying at the uh, computer screen for the result so we not check that box so let us put the sequences remember we are having uh, the 10 sequences here it is the 10 sequence of ours so we'll be selecting all the sequences here selecting all the sequences and one ex exception of this sequence because this sequence is with many other sequence so we'll be cutting this sequence so except for this sequence we'll be having rest of the sequence in our hand so here are the sequences so we'll be copying all the sequences copy and then we paste this sequence here paste our sequence here okay and here say enter or paste a set of protein sequence as we paste the sequence remember uh, it is taking as a protein because if we, if we can't get a dna because these are not the dna sequence we must uh, click this protein sequence then what we'll do everything uh, is set by default and click the submit 
so they check for the input validation so they will filter the parameters your job is currently running please be patient so now they they have done the they have done our job and they give us the results you can see the blink of a second even faster than uh, the blast we have carried out they provide us the result so here are one two three four five six seven eight eight different uh, proteins prion proteins are taken for this alignment and let me tell some important thing about the alignment is whenever it is aligning sequences for DNA or RNA the sequences are A, G, T, C so if I match A with A they are giving uh, this star the star marks are the exact match star means exact match and this semiclone semiclone means this is not uh, and this is star means exact match as you can see this S, S, S everything is there but this one it means not exact match but there are T's most of the case but this one is consisting one S so that's why it, it changes the structure from uh, star to this one okay so it varies with, with, with this particular marking so this marking will also tell us the conserved domains and also it, it is going to tell us the perfect alignment now here you can see only one dot we can see two dot or we can see a star if there is one dot that means the structure is varying most uh, of the directions if we are seeing two dots the structure is varying in very very little way see two dots means mo all of them are l in this place only one is f but if you are having one dot you can see in one dot containing part most of them are uh, s n so it's a punch of s and n now star means they are very very good they are full match sequence okay so get a pretty good alignment now remember in alignment we can get match we can get mismatch and we can get also uh, the gap so here it says in any kind of a single dot or double dot you can find uh, sorry you can find a mismatch so say here it is, it is a t and next to it it's a s so it's a mismatch that is going on here but here you can also see this is an m and right beneath that we are having a dash so it's a match it's a gap uh, origin right and here it says this is a match m with m it's a perfect match okay so here this is the alignment results and a lot of different tabs are there result summary guide tree phylogenetic tree so we can construct phylogenetic tree with this multiple sequence alignment right so this uh, multiple sequence alignment is a very very important tool, tool to construct phylogenetic tree right and also we can download this alignment file because when you download this file it will it will take us to uh, the alignment file so simply this alignment will be downloaded and the future purpose we can simply upload this file for our uh, future purposes like the uh, provide uh, or pro producing this phylogenetic tree and all these things okay so here it is also sent to cluster w to phylogeny because if we click this button it will take our information and send it to the cluster w2 software phylogenetic analysis and it will create a phylogenetic tree with a molecular evolution pattern okay so what we will do we simply download this file by clicking here so simply click, click here and it will take us to this page so we will just save this page into our computer okay it is saved now now until that point everything is fine the alignment is done okay now uh, i have also discussed you when i uh, when I told you about the theory part that MSA in the multiple sequence alignment we want more and more sequences because if you are adding more sequences you will be very much clear uh, about our about our uh, process and we will be very much confident about our result right so that's why you need to take as many sequence as we can and you can see at this particular first few lines there are some mismatches there are some mismatch and gaps that's why they are not giving you anything in this plot they are giving you a blank at this region this is varying so in H prion protein if we start from here this is the N terminal and see 1 to 47 residue at the very beginning then 48 to 91 residue in this case then again uh, 91 uh, 92 to 141 so on until 253 most of the prion proteins are having 253 some are 257, some are 259, some are 241 and so on like that. Okay. So, so what we are getting in this place that here are the alignment structure and we are varying at the end terminal. Right. This is very very important assumption because at the C terminal 
uh, slight variations but mostly you can see the variations are in n terminal and this is the feature of the alignment by Clustal W because it is trying to pro provide gaps and all the mismatches at the beginning and at the end and try to keep matches mostly at the middle regions so the variations that we are getting most of the variations we are getting are at this in terminal segment and we have also seen the conserved domain so if we click the conserved domain earlier what we found here the variations are also in the in terminal domain but not the c terminal you can find this in terminal domain the most of the variations are at this in terminal right right so it is tallying with our conserved domain search results so we get we, we've seen how to how to align multiple sequences now if we go back to the previous place so we can just place our sequence faster format like that copy and paste it simply browse our sequence browse the file here and click the hit so that's the answer and i hope this video is helping you thank you